Hello and welcome back to another Minecraft The Meaning of Life episode. Today we're doing episode 3. Um, <coughs> we are going to be based on cooking and farming today. But first I'm going to show you how to make a hoe. <sighs> First of all, I'm going to need to make some more sticks. Destroying la uh, grass, you usually get seeds for well, wheat. Say, you know, like, well, how do you get grass from wheat? Don't ask me, ask the creators of Minecraft. But you want a hoe so you can turn the dirt into basically kind of a soil. You can plant the seed and let it grow until it's like a darker brown to where it, it looks more like wheat, but you want to make sure it's a dark, dark brown because when you destroy it, it will just destroy it entirely or to turn it back into a seed. So just leave it here, nothing will destroy it except block cubes. Just make sure there's none around, if there's anyone near it, to destroy it, but let that grow over time. And now that I already have that done, I'm going to show you how to make a hoe. You're good at that part. And then uh, we're going to go back inside and I'm going to show you how to cook. First of all, you're going to need a furnace, some wood, and some meat that you're going to cook, like chicken. You want to put that in the section, because in this section is what you're cooking, and this is what you're burning to cook to make this. Which I pretty much hope that's self-explanatory. Like I said earlier from last episode, you need one more than the number that you are given. So I need six. So it requires one to start the furnace, and the rest to keep burning it. So we're going to have five cooked chicken, which will be called just chicken when it's done. And we'll let that go. Another good uh, form is pig. If you can find any, you'll get a uh, raw chop. Don't eat it at all because you'll have a 20% chance of getting sick. But definitely don't eat raw zombie meat. Just forget the zombie meat all in general because that will get you mentally sick. But if you buy the game and mod it to where you can get clay soldiers, uh, you can feed the clay uh, the raw zombie meat to the soldiers. I saw a chicken over here earlier and I want to get that food. I think I just saw him earlier. Uh, hello and goodbye. Now you guys are probably wondering what's the feathers for? The feathers is for arrows. So you need a feather, a stick, and a piece of flint. And you'll stack them on top of each other, the flint at the top wood in the middle, and a feather at the bottom to make an arrow. Now, at the bottom right-hand corner, you see a food indicator that indicates how hungry your person is. The first three are gone, which means the less likely my guy will start recovering its parts at the bottom left at a faster rate. The more fuller your food icon is, the faster you recover after taking damage. If you get down to no food, your person will very quickly take damage and die. Uh, my fourth section, you see the food part way eaten, I would preferably wait until it's completely gone before you replace it. So you just waste the uh, amount of food you just got. Put that there. Let that cook. When you uh, cook your food, you want to click on the space so put in a space where you can actually pick it up and put it in your hand. Hold the right click and it will show you indication you guys eating. Chicken usually fills up to two and a half space. And that's pretty much all you'll need. Third of all, the only thing else I can really tell you guys is the fish. You need to make a fishing pole. I'll show you how to make that later on, but not in this episode. All you need to do is throw it in a little section of water, which is why I made this path so it's close by. Capture some fish, don't eat it raw. 
Speaking of which, there are also cats in the game. You give the fish, the raw fish, to the cats to become your house pet. They are designed for you to uh, basically have something to distract the enemy while you're fighting them. Where to get the seeds for wheat? It's like this. Just destroy it. See how I got that one? I got lucky. You have about a 25% chance per one you destroy. See that one I didn't? Didn't. 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 But like I said, 25% chance of actually getting the seeds, and you just put it down like I did earlier. Put it in my inventory. Or so take your hoe. Break it down. There you go, and let it start doing that. And it's got to be next to water. It has to. Or it'll just dry up, and your seeds will die, and you'll lose them. But that is all. Thank you for watching, and see you for my next episode.